Now, if I have a fraction like 253 upon 4, how will I write this as a mixed fraction? Mr. Satyam. 63, 1 upon 4. 63, 1 by 4. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No, sir. Mr. Satya, if I have a fraction like 3, 4, 5, 6 upon 7, you have done the division. How will I write this as a mixed fraction? 4, 9, 3, 26 upon 7. So 7 for the 28, 65, sign line the 63, 26, 7, 3, the 21, 5. So I'll write this as, this is my quotient, 4, 9, 3. This is my remainder, 5. And this is my divisor, 7. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No, sir. Okay. So, two, 3 by 5. How will I write this as a mixed fraction? Mr. Sarthak? 124, 3 upon 5. Sir, is this division correct? So, Mr. Sarthak, what is the difference between the method that Sophia has used, this method and this method. What is the difference that you see? So he has straight divided five, um, hmm. five and sixty-two, and in this we have divided five and six and. Mr. Have, have, have you understood? What so? Have you understood the difference? And have you? Yes. Understood? Have you understood that both these methods are okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this is one thing. The other thing is, okay, the first thing is that if we want to write this as a mixed fraction, what will be the answer, Mr. Sathya? 4, 3 upon 5. 1, 20, 4, 3 upon 5. Any doubt about this? No, sir. Now, the second thing that... Satya is saying is that we can also make a decimal out of this. We can add a decimal, we can add a zero. So, but then how will it be a mixed fraction? Oh, then it won't be that. See, then it won't be a mixed fraction. Then we are writing this in the form of a decimal. See, the, you can see it like this. You can understand it like that. The question might be that the first part is that write this right. as mixed fraction. The first part is as mixed fraction. As mixed fraction. The second part may, might, might be that write this as a decimal. Have you understood? Yes, sir. So we have done the first part. And if we want to write this as a decimal, then I put a decimal. I get a zero. Then zero after three and then normal divide. So, if I have to write this as decimal, then my answer would be 1 to 4.6. And if I want to write this as a mixed fraction, my answer would be 1 to 3 by 5. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No, sir. You should be aware of both these. And you should also be aware of both these methods are open. Whichever method that you want to follow. Okay, how can I write this as mixed factor? 82, 7 upon 9. 82, 7 upon 9. Okay, how will I write this as mixed fraction? One twenty six four upon five. Okay. Mr. Sarthak, is this division correct? Just check. So five to the sixty, thirty four, five six to thirty, and the remainder is four. So it is correct. The if I have to write this as a mixed fraction, Mr. Sarthak, what will be the answer? 126, 4 by 5. 
126 4 by 5 see when you are doing such kind of questions you need to understand that this question number needs to be separated from the main question mr satya any doubt no sir mr sarth any doubt no sir because easily you can make a mistake and you can when you are doing the exam you might think that this is 75 any doubt no sir try to separate this question number by a circle or whatever you want to do you can put a bracket also i will put a half bracket yeah so for example whenever you like whenever you write like this you can easily mistake this to be 88 mr satya any doubt no sir Mr. Sardang, is the division correct? Oh, uh, so I'll just check. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Sardang, if it is correct, then how will I write this as a mixed fraction? So, sixty-six four by eight. Should this be the final answer, Mr. Sardang? Yes, sir. Here, whenever you are writing in terms of mixed fraction, just take care. That whenever you can cancel, so cancel these two, four one the four two the, so the final answer would be sixty six one by two. Is there any doubt about this? No sir. Mr. Satya, is there any doubt about this? No. Mr. Satya, please differentiate between the main question number and the question. You make a mistake otherwise. Any doubt? In all these questions. No. Now all these questions, your question number and question is the same. Okay. Again, Mr. Sarthak, is the division correct? So I'll check. Yeah. Wrong. Why is it wrong? Sir, because it should be eight za thirty two. Four eight za thirty two. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No. Okay. So, Mr. Sarthak, if I want to write this as a mixed fraction, how will I write it? So, one zero eight. So, four thirty two by four would simply be equal to one zero eight. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt about this? No. Sir. So, this question would come something like this. Thirty. Four upon five is equal to one twenty six four by five. Mr. Satya, any doubt about mixed fractions? No. Any doubt about division? No, sir. Sir, can you check whether this division is correct or incorrect? Yes, sir. So it's correct. It's correct. How is it? What sir? How is it correct? What is the answer that you got? One forty-three. One forty-three. No sir, it should be one sixty-three. Why it should be one sixty-three? Sir, I just now calculated it. It hmm. should be four into sixteen. Four into sixteen. Four into sixteen is. Yes? Fifty. Four into sixteen is fifty-six. How is it fifty six? Mr. Sathya. No, so it's not fifty six. So is this correct or not, Mr. Sathya? Yes, sir. It is correct. Correct. Four four the fifty four fourteen the fifty six thirteen four is the twelve. Mr. Sarath, how will you write this as mixed fraction? Uh, so four into sixteen is one by four. Any doubt about this? Sarath. No sir.
Mr. Sarthak, is it correct? Can 7 by 3 be written as 2 1 by 3? Oh, sir, just a second. Yes, sir. So it can be written as 2 1 by 3. Mr. Sarthak, you need to get into the habit of doing these orally. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Try to do this orally. Can 4 by 3 be written as 1, 1 by 3? Try to do this orally. Yes, sir. It can be. 152 by 5. Can it? Is this correct answer? So just to... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. So I think it should be 3, 2 by 5. Why it should be 3, 2 by 5? Try, okay. So, Mr. Sarthak, Mr. Sarthak, try to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. What would be the answer? 17 by 5. What was given to you? 152 by 5. So is it correct? No, sir. So will it be 305? Are you you guys do not know how to do division. How will I divide 152 by 5? Tell me this. So 3s are 15. 5 3s are 15, okay. What? So 2 will come down. 2 will come down, okay. What will happen after this? Oh, so I forgot to add the 0. But that is what I'm trying to tell you. You guys don't know how to do division. What should be the answer? 32 by 5. 32 by 5. Does any doubt? No. So please try to, whenever you get the answer, for example, if you, if you want to do this mixed fraction, when you're doing this mixed fraction, When you are doing this mixed fraction, whatever answer you get, try to check it. Mr. Satya, any doubt? No. Okay. Mr. Satya, what is 0 by 3? Mr. Satya. You have to do it in mixed fraction. Whatever you want to do. Mr. So, Sartak, what would be 0 by 3? Mr. So, Sartak. So, what would be the answer for 0 by 100? So again, zero. What is the answer of zero by 27, Mr. Sarkar? So zero. Zero by 30. Hello? Zero by 30, what would be the answer? Zero. Mr. Sarkar, any doubt about this? No, sir. So, Satya, uh, 0 divided by any number, any number, the answer would be, Mr. Satya? 0. But the inverse is not true. If 25 is divided by 0 or any number is divided by 0, the answer is, Mr. Sarthak, what is the answer? So I don't remember. So Satya, what will be the answer? So but no, so I didn't hear this. Not defined. Usually, loosely it is spoken as infinity, but the answer will be not defined. Any doubt about this? 
So all you need to remember is that zero divided by any number, any number would be zero. But any number divided by zero would be not divided. Have you guys understood or should I repeat? Understood. Okay. Understood. So, so whenever you write answer, whenever you write answers like only five five by zero, you should know that this is incorrect. This is a fact. Very good. Okay, Mrs. Arthur, is it correct? Can you do it orally, Mrs. Arthur? Can you? Yes. Can you be orally? orally? Just a second, sir. It's nine. So it has to be fifteen so that it can divide. Mrs. Arthur, see the trick is in when you are doing the mixed fraction. Denominator is the same as this number. Any doubt? No, sir. This would automatically this would automatically be the same. This is okay. Any doubt? No, sir. So just remember this. So any sum that you see, the denominator and this would be. Any doubt? Oh, so I got confused between the uh, denominator and the. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Okay. So is it correct or incorrect? Uh, so yes, a second. I'll do it again. Yeah. So it should be five five by three. Okay. How much can be five five by three? Yeah. So three fives are. Any doubt? No, sir. This all the is it correct? Is this correct? Yes. So it's correct. Is seventh question correct? Yes, sir. Sixty-three by five is equal to twelve three by five. This is correct. So, Mr. Sapya, any doubt about mixed fractions? Do you have to no, sir. Yeah. 